Hey there, it's Peter Winnick. I'm the founder and CEO of Thought Leadership Leverage. And today I wanted to share with you um, another thought, another observation, and see what you think, which is which is more important uh, than what I think. So oftentimes what I've observed with uh, clients and colleagues and such is that part of the demands of being a thought leader is that you have to put content out into the world on a consistent and regular basis, right? And it can become challenging, right? This staring at the blank screen, the, the proverbial writer's block. Uh, and oftentimes, you, you know, you're know, you sitting there and you're working and you're ultimately waiting for some sort of an epiphany, some sort of an insight, something that you could share with your followership. And it's really, really, really hard, right? To, to be under that pressure and wait for an aha moment that may or may not come. So what I have found works more effectively for folks is to apply constraints to the process, right? So it might seem counterintuitive to, to limit your options, limit your choices, put some restrictions and boundaries and such around the content that you're gonna put out there. But the, the process of going through and developing and creating some sort of an ed editorial calendar is an incredibly valuable one. And the, the way that we think about that here at Thought Leadership Leverage is, you have to be really clear about who you're talking to, who are the avatars, right? Some combination of psychographic and demographic that you're reaching out to. The next thing you need to do is figure out what are the pain points, the three to five to 10 things that keep them up at night, that they struggle with, that are uh, aligned with the work that you do and how you can help them solve that. So then you look at an avatar, you look at a pain point, and it really constrains uh, your, your options and alternatives and will assist you greatly in consistently putting out great content, great thought leadership to the folks that matter most to you and your business. Anyway, love to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much.